care for persons on board and environment duties of a gangway watch in port primary responsibility of a gangway watchman to control access to the ship control of people and equipment to and from the vessel searching of personnel and baggage reporting of security incidents or breaches additionally gangway watchman must be trained for below 1 gangway access point always must be manned 2 if somebody from ship staff call for another duty must be sure that reliever is available at the gangway those on gangway duty must not leave the station until properly relieved gangways are not left unattended at any time for whatever reason until a relief has been briefed and taken over responsibility 3 the gangway must be checked to see that it is properly lashed and secured well lit and at all times safe for use the embarkation area should be kept orderly and clean at all times the first impression is the one that lasts 4 control of permitted persons and goods at access point all pre allowed visitors and joining crew boarding the vessel must have their identity checked names time in and out and purpose of visit recorded in gangway book been escorted to and from their point of interest if deemed necessary by sso given id badges when the person leaving must return id badge all persons must sign the log on and off the boat legibly and in ink instructed to avoid restricted areas if refusing to show id or explain reasons for boarding then detained and reported to sso if showing suspicious behavior detained at the access point for further investigation by the sso bags or goods carried inconsistent with visitor purpose and at random in ratio of 1 to 10 opened for inspection the watch shall be maintained for unauthorized removal of the ship's equipment and stores number 1 an alert watch is kept at all times at the head of each gangway this is to include careful scrutiny of the key side area and in particular any movements of personnel in the areas of open shell doors and mooring lines fore and aft number 2 No unaccompanied baggage is permitted on the vessel or to be left in the immediate vicinity of the gangway. Number 3. Gangway access point must be equipped with spare, freshly charged battery for the walkie-talkie. Number 4. Gangway access point must be equipped with a box containing minimum 4 helmets, 2 eye safety gear, goggles, 2 pair of gloves for the visitor. Number 5. Gangway access point must be equipped with instructions concerning patrolling pattern, locking system and body search procedure. Number 6. Always report to OOW any abnormal situations especially around the vessel and in sight. Number 7. The SSO or OOW is informed immediately of any instance of persons boarding or leaving the ship other than by the gangway. Example: leaping over bulwarks from decks of stacked vessels or through side gates extra number 8 in the case of emergency alarms watchmen must remain on gangway access point until further orders obtained from OOW SSO or master following the terrorism attack on the world trade center on the 11th of september 2001 imo agreed to develop security measures applicable to ships and port facilities to eliminate or minimize security threats these security measures have been included as amendments to the solas convention the objectives are as follows establish international guidelines to detect and assess security threats and take preventive measures against security incidents affecting ship or port facilities used in international trade to establish roles and responsibilities at national and international level for ensuring maritime security to provide method for security assessment so as to have in place plans and procedures to react to changing security levels The code has two parts. Part A contains rules regarding the appointment of security officers for shipping companies, individual ships and port facilities. It also includes security plans to be prepared in respect of ships and port facilities. 
Part B contains guidance and recommendations on preparing ship and port facility security plans. The ISPS code contains three security levels. The security level is set by the administration. Security level 1. The normal level that the ship or port facility operates on a daily basis. Level 1 ensures that security personnel maintains minimum appropriate security 24 7. Security level 2. A heightened level for a time period during a security risk that has become visible to security personnel. Appropriate additional measures will be conducted at this security level. Security level 3 will include additional security measures for an incident that is forthcoming or has already occurred that must be maintained for a limited time frame. The security measure must be attended to although there might not be a specific target that has yet been identified.